Houston police are now trying to determine if two separate shooting scenes less than a mile apart are connected. Now, cops responded to an apartment complex on Willcrest. They found a man shot in the head. The other person there was shot in the leg. Real Juan Belogan's live from the Lakeside Apartments, uh, just off of uh, Beltway 8 at Willcrest. Real Juan, good morning. Oh, and Kathy, good morning. Hey, the person that was shot in the head was found at this apartment complex in about an hour ago or so. Officers, along with tow truck here, were able to take that vehicle that driver was in, towed it away. Take a look at the video itself. This is the moments that the tow truck were able to remove that video here. And officers said that the driver was shot in the head, then crashed into several vehicles in the apartment complex itself. Now, officers telling me that they will return to try and speak with the vehicle owners later today. Houston police got a shooting call for two separate in scenes overnight. Officers first responded to the Av uh, Avon Star Complex at Lakeside Estates, but didn't see anything there. However, less than a mile away, about a 10-minute walk at Wilcrest, that's when they saw Houston Fire Department working on a driver of a Camry. And investigators say they were able to interview a witness who heard the shots and saw masked men running. Initially, she saw three males in masks run towards her so she was scared and, and then she's heard a, a loud crash and then three gunshots um, to her discovery she saw that it was the um, camera behind me crashed and that's when she found the victim with a gunshot wound to the head now, investigators also said that same witness was able to aid that victim until officers and fire department crews got to the scene. That person's condition at this point is unclear. Investigators and authorities asking for anyone who might have information to give them a call to call Houston Police's Major Assaults Division. That number is 713-308-8800. Live in West Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.